My name is Shindon Hayek, and I was born in North Korea in 1982. I was born in a political prison camp, in prison camp number 14 in Kachung, and lived there until I escaped in 2005 and arrived in South Korea in 2006. Shin Don Hayuk is the only person born in a North Korean political prison who has ever escaped. Shin's story is one of the most shocking and brutal that's ever been told. My childhood was, I basically considered myself as fated to also live the life of a prisoner because I was born to an imprisoned mother and father. Throughout his life, Shin was viciously beaten for even minor mistakes. In the factory where I worked, as a result of breaking an object, a punishment really, as a punishment, my finger was cut off. But I was just relieved that I wasn't publicly executed as a result of the incident. And as a child, I was just thankful that was it. Shin feels the only way to make the world take notice of the atrocities in North Korea is to tell about his horrific experiences. In the book coming out, I reveal the secrets I've kept hidden, secrets behind my family, about my actions with regard to my mother and older brother, and how due to my actions, my mum and brother died. By telling the prison guards about his mother and brother's plans to escape, Shin thought he would be rewarded with more privileges. But the guards believed he wanted to escape with them and try to torture a confession out of him. The pain that I dealt with, being beaten or hanging upside down, being seared with fire, all of these experiences themselves, I thought it was only right because I was a prisoner and because my mum and brother had committed a crime. The guards eventually gave up trying to get a confession out of Shin and he was sent back to the camp where he witnessed the execution of his mother and brother. Currently in North Korea, North Koreans and those in prison camps don't have any power to do anything. So if there's anything that can be done for them, there's a method of putting political pressure on North Korea through various means, such as international NGOs and Amnesty International in London, and through public opinion. So I have high expectations and think that Amnesty International, as well as other NGOs, can bring hope to these North Koreans and political prisoners. And through their support and strength, North Koreans will be freed, along with the prisoners. An estimated 200,000 women, men and children remain in North Korea's prison camps. They won't all be able to escape like Shin Dong Hyuk did. Text Amnesty Escape to 70555 to donate £5 or visit amnesty.org.uk forward slash escape and help close these camps.